What is the Deadpool 3 release date? Does the MCU know what's just about to hit it? Deadpool 3 is not only happening, but it's happening within official MCU continuity. Yep, that's right, the foul-mouthed, fourth wall breaking, frequently blood-caked mutate is going to be exploding F-bombs right inside the formerly family-friendly Marvel action movies. Few thought this was probable, or even possible when Disney bought Fox, the studio that produced the X-Men movies, including Deadpool 1 and 2 back in 2019. But as Marvel had already proven with its TV series so far in Phase 4, it is more than willing to break new barriers. And Deadpool 3 will almost certainly be breaking a few taste barriers if nothing else. So what do we know about Deadpool 3 so far? Well, the action movie is still a few years away, and information is hard to come, but we didn't let that stop us. We scoured the web, used Cerebro, and begged all the clairvoyants we know to learn everything we could about Deadpool 3. Will Deadpool 3 be set in the MCU? Short answer, yes, we know this because the man in charge of the MCU, Kevin Feige, said so, and you can't get much clearer confirmation than that. He also confirmed there would be no curbs on the potty-mouthed language and gore that has helped define the series. Deadpool 3 inches will be rated R and, Ryan's overseeing a script right now, Feige told Collider in January. It was an announcement that surprised many, and not just because of the R-rated content. How would the MCU deal with the fact that there were two movies already that weren't within MCU continuity? Just ignore it, retcon it, rewrite it, well, none of that may be necessary. With the introduction of the multiverse at the end of Loki season 1, there's never been a better time to introduce a character from a parallel continuity. Phase 4 of the MCU is promising to be a multiverse of madness, going forward, not only is that the subtitle of Doctor Strange 2, but we've also seen characters from the Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man franchises turn up in Spider-Man, No Way Home. Reynolds emphatically denied to Variety that he's in Doctor Strange 2, but we all know a Lister's lie when they need to. It'd certainly be a memorable way to bring Deadpool into the mix. There's no official word on this other than filming definitely won't start in 2021. According to Feige, Ryan Reynolds is a very busy, very successful actor. We've got a number of things we've already announced that we now have to make first, but it's exciting for it to have begun. The inference is that any shoot would therefore have to be later in the year, which would make the earliest feasible release date late 2023. At the moment, Marvel has no definite release dates beyond Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, May 5, 2023. Reynolds recently provided an update on Deadpool 3 while promoting Red Notice. Unfortunately, he didn't reveal much when Variety asked how the project was going. Plugging away, he said. Can't really comment on that, but hopefully soon though. More likely, though, is that we will see Deadpool in some MCU project or other even before Deadpool 3. It may just be a cameo, but with the multiverse opening up wide, we'd be surprised if there weren't some foreshadowing for the Merc, with a mouth in an earlier film or TV show. After all, if he does have to swear, he could be bleeped out, and then he could go off on a meta rant about censorship. In August, Reynolds himself teased to comic book, com that he might make an early appearance in the MCU rather than waiting for his own film, I think both approaches are pretty warranted, said Reynolds. I think you're always gonna zig when everybody's expecting you to zag when it comes to that character. As long as Disney's open to doing something pretty wildly divergent or having some wildly divergent uses of Deadpool, then I dig it, man. I think it's all great. We'd hazard a guess Ryan Reynolds will be back as Wade Wilson, aka Deadpool. Other than that, it's speculation, but we know who won't be in it, any of the ill-fated X-Force team from Deadpool 2, aside from Peter. Peter may be back because Reynolds liked the character so much, and he was the only member of X-Force we saw Deadpool saving in the post credit sequence. We loved Rob Delany's character. I love that Deadpool just completely ignores this marquee cast, the X-Force, that he could have saved with useful and wonderful superheroes, Reynolds told Empire. We can't afford half the other guys to bring them back, so they have to remain dead. One, in particular, would be very expensive. He can't mean Brad Pitt's The Vanisher, surely. They allegedly only paid him with a Starbucks coffee for his Deadpool 2 cameo. Otherwise, we'd expect Morena Baccarin back as Vanessa since she was resurrected in that Deadpool 2 post credit sequence. We'd love to see Zazie Beetz as Domino again, but Beetz isn't so sure she'll be back. She told Collider in March 2021 that she was interested in returning but hasn't heard anything about the sequel yet. 
I would love to revive the role, she explained. I haven't had any specific conversations around it. But I'm interested. In the past, Reynolds has tweeted that he wanted Deadpool 3 to be a road trip between Deadpool and Logan Wolverine. Rashomon style. For real. However, Wolverine actor Hugh Jackman has nixed that idea by saying that he never plans to play Logan ever again. It's still a character I hold close to my heart, but I know it's done. Tell that to whoever you want, but please tell it to Ryan Reynolds. Because he doesn't believe it, he thinks I'm joking. Reynolds has also told Radio 1 back in 2018 that he'd be open to including Dogpool, a canine version of Deadpool from an alternate universe in the comics, in a Deadpool film, though he may have just been humoring an interviewer who clearly just wanted to show off his geeky knowledge of Deadpool trivia. In March, Domino actress Zazie Beetz told Digital Spy she loved to revive the role, but hadn't had any specific conversations. The ending of Deadpool 2 also strongly suggests that Reynolds hasn't yet finished with the Cable Josh Brolin character.